going on? Or hello, or salutations. I'm on the Rio Grande River, which is Arabic for lazy walrus. I'm about to go hike into the gorge. And today I'm going to be fishing my Echo Shadow 2 and a thin leader formula that's Devin Olson's. But what I'm going to do is not only up and across Euronymph, I'm going to do some dry dropper techniques as well. Just wanted to share that with you guys. I think sometimes people get you know, so hyper-focused on just Euronymphing, whereas today, you know, it's 19 degrees right now. Um, these fish are going to be hunkered down in some of the slower, deeper runs, and an up-and-across Euronymphing approach, especially in some of these wider runs, might not be, you know, the most ideal. So by by fishing a dry dropper, you'll be able to extend that radius of presentation, and, and hopefully we'll pick up some fish. All right. I was able to find some quick success just doing some up and across euro nymphing on the inside inside bend of this run. Pick up two, picked up two brown trout, one on a Frenchie and one on a waltz worm. I'm gonna cross and I'm gonna leave my depth the way it is. I'm basically running depth to my point fly, which is gonna be my heavier waltz worm. And then I've migrated up that tippet about two feet and tied a surgeon's knot. And that's where my um, Frenchie's hanging. So I'm gonna go just leave that rig as is, and if I need to float the rig or do some dry dropper stuff, all I'm gonna do is attach a chubby Chernobyl to the tippet ring, running about eight inches of 3X tippet, tie it to my dry fly, and I'll be able to suspend the rig at distance. Okay, so behind me is kind of a classic slow water winter scenario. So all I'm gonna do to kind of fish this like a suspension rig is just tie some tippet off my tippet ring, this is 3X, and I'm just gonna put on a chubby Chernobyl. And this will allow me to be able to fish this pool um, that I otherwise wouldn't be able to get, get the best drifts. Now you could grease your cider, you could fish lighter, but I'm lazy. So by tying on a dry fly, now I'll be able to kind of fish, fish a bobber rig. So that's the setup, there's my chubby hanging down, and I got my two flies. Let's see if they like it. from the Rio Grande. So as you can see with just a quick rig change I'm able to go from up and across tight line nymphing to a suspension rig. I wouldn't have caught that rainbow if I wasn't floating my nymphs at distance. Alright so I was able to pick up two quick fish pretty quick just working the slower frog water in the back of the pool. I'm going to keep using the dry dropper up the pool until I get to the head where there's some more current, where I'll cut the dry dropper off and return back to a straight up and across euro nymphing approach. Okay, so on that last run, I ended up cutting off my indicator, or my uh, chubby Chernobyl as I moved to the head of the pool, and I was able to pick up an extra couple fish. It's a little windy, so that's also a great time to use dry dropper if, you know, that wind is really beating up you and, and your cider. So I'm going to attach the chubby back on and nymph this run behind me and let's see what we can't pull at. Alright, I was able to pick up that brown trout just by running a dry dropper rig. The wind's picked up. so. I'm not going to be able to get as good of depth, it's just kind of up and across uh, Euro nymphing, even, uh, even bumping up my weights. So I'm going to keep running this dry dropper rig through this run and see if I can't pick up a few more fish. Here's a nice wild Rio Grande rainbow. I was able to pick up that fish just a few feet up where I picked that brown trout, again utilizing that dry dropper rig. Alright, I got to wrap it up, I only had a couple hours to fish, so got to get back home to some honeydews. I cut my chubby Chernobyl off and ran through the run behind me again and was able to pick up another brown trout. Uh, the flies that worked really well, kind of the MVP of today, was a size 16 thread Frenchie. I also caught fish on an, on an Egan's red dart 
and a, and a waltz worm as well. You know, given the wind, the deeper water, and some of the complex currents, I oversized the bead on that size 16, so I was running a 2.8 millimeter bead on the 16. And I went pretty heavy for some of these deeper, faster runs. I'm um, a 3.8 millimeter bead on my point, running 5X tippet. Just a couple key points about today. Um, while I did pick up most of my fish up and across the Euronymphing, I was able to pick up a few more fish that I wouldn't have been able to access had I just kind of stuck with up and across. So tying on that dry fly to turn my Euro rig into a suspension rig was a big part of today's success. I didn't have you know, as much time as I would like to fish today, I, I probably only got to fish and film for just under two hours, but a successful day and, and hopefully some of this information helps. If I can do anything else, just, you know, leave a comment down below and I'll answer the questions as quickly as I can. Take care.